The use of the pedal has gone through quite an evolution in the history of the instrument. In the earlier generation, it wasn't used much at all. Uh, really, uh, players tended to play fast moving lines and only put the pedal down when they came to a long note, you know, a kind of a pause, they would put the pedal down to hold a note. But they didn't use it uh, for phrasing purposes. And yet that's to me, is where it's really important. Uh, as an instrument, the big challenge for the vibraphone is to make it more expressive, uh, the, the role model for expression in music is the human voice. And the instruments that are the closest to the human voice are the wind instruments, the trumpets and saxophones and so on. Uh, the vibraphone, the piano, these are mechanical kinds of instruments that are very far removed from being naturally expressive. So if I play a line and you know, play, it's all the same volume and all the same length of notes, uh, there's no expression to it. And a horn player would never do that. A horn player would, would play some notes louder and some notes shorter and longer and so on as they phrased a line. So when I'm playing, I tend to picture uh, how would a saxophone player play this phrase? How would a trumpet player phrase this phrase? How would a singer do it? Uh, in order to give myself an idea. If I ask myself, how would a vibes player play this phrase? I don't get much of a suggestion. It's horn players that, that uh, really give me the, the right idea. And I use the pedal to help me do this. If I don't use the pedal, that's how long the notes will be. Every note will be the same length, that same short length. If I want it to be a little bit longer, I have to use the pedal a little bit. And a good example of this is, say, a scale. No pedal. With some pedal, I can make it legato. So when I'm playing uh, a normal improvised section, I'm using the pedal a lot to determine how legato to make a line, uh, to control the length of the notes. see how much I'm using the pedal. That allows me to control the, the phrasing and I'm constantly striving to make my phrasing more expressive, more vocal. Now in addition to the pedaling, uh, I'm also making good use of the dynamics, that is how loud and soft I play. We tend to think of dynamics in the general sense of being, well this section of the piece is soft, says P, P there. This section is loud, it says F, F, fortissimo. But in fact, every melody phrase we play has a shape to it. Some notes are louder, some notes are softer as it goes higher, as it goes lower. We want to suggest this rise and fall of the volume as we, as we phrase our, our improvised lines or our melody lines. And it, on a horn, it almost naturally happens. If a horn player goes higher, they get louder. If they suddenly leap down, it gets softer. Uh, for us, it takes the same amount of energy to play all those notes. But imagine a trumpet, that note, this note, mm, that note would be, you know, much harder to play. So there's a phrasing is built into uh, the playing of a wind instrument. We have to suggest that and imply that when we play the vibraphone. Just same as with piano players or guitar players, they have to also suggest uh, this kind of phrasing when they play by being very careful with uh, using the volume levels. Now, with dynamics and variety, most players tend to use not their full range. They'll play, this is soft, this is loud. Their softest would be here, and their loudest is here. But they tend to, you know, to stay in the middle, and they go up and down a little bit, but really, I believe in using my full range. That's my softest, and that's my loudest.
you can hear some notes are accented a lot and others are so soft we barely hear them. And it's that r full range of the dynamics that uh, I think make the playing more expressive and uh, also it makes the expression carry further. Uh, if you're playing in front of an audience, you know, they're hundreds of feet from you, you have to, ex you know, um, express yourself more obviously if they're going to uh, catch the, the flavor of what you're doing. It's like actors when they're on a stage. If they mumbled their words, uh, it wouldn't carry past the first two or three rows. Um, if you're a musician, and you're phrasing the piece, you have to make that phrasing very dramatic and obvious for it to reach out to the listener and for it to be perceived uh, as being that expressive. So I encourage all students that I've had to really try to use dynamics more in their playing and certainly make more use of the pedal.